I aim to show in this video just how responsive the Better Geiger S2L scintillator is compared to my Radio Code 103G. Um, and the advantage that the Better Geiger has is a three centimeter uh, crystal. It's much larger, so it can detect with a bit more sensitivity than the Radio Code. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love my Radio Code. It's a totally different instrument. You can't compare these two. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, it's just to show how quickly the Better Geiger S2L detects and validates uranium glass versus the Radio Code 103G. So these two pieces react to uh, a UV light, as you can see. So once you identify something that's reacting, then you want to validate that it's actually uranium glass. You want to use your detector, either a Geiger counter or a scintillator, to see you know, if it's radioactive, which it should be if it contains uranium-containing products, in this case, usually uranium oxide. Um, and you can see immediately how the uh, better Geiger shoots right up. <clears throat> and I have it set to fast and jumpy. There's three settings for the uh, display, fast and jumpy, balanced, and uh, slow and smooth. Right now it's set to fast and jumpy. Uh, so the radio code, it's basically just hanging around there because this is a very, very low activity item. So we'll move these two back over, radio code and a better Geiger to this plate. And you can see immediately how quickly, because this plate is higher activity uh, than the other Vaseline glass platter next to it. And the radio code will respond. Again, this, these things are low activity. Uh, and the radio code will get up around three or 400 counts per minute. Eventually it'll drift up there, but it's just so slow and the advantage of the S2L with the larger scintillator crystal makes it just so much more responsive. So my daily carry item now in antique shops or thrift shops is the uh, Better Geiger S2L. And again, I'm not receiving any compensation for this video. Um, I bought this instrument out of my own pocket. And uh, if you would like to purchase one or know more about the instrument to just learn more, there'll be a link in the description to go to the website where you can learn more or purchase one.